guys I'm back you guys so I got what I needed from the dentist this is I don't know if you can see it but that is a night guard um, I need a night guard because I guess I grab my teeth at night and people have been telling me this over the years and um, I got a night guard on Amazon believe it or not you can make night guards on Amazon but yeah I got one from the dentist it's different it's thicker hopefully it works good so I guess we'll test it out. The hardest part is getting used to sleeping with it on. All right, guys. So I am back from the dental office, and I'm about to make some sugar-free Jello. I know it's weird, but I've been having two servings a day, which is two grams of protein, guys. Um, this is the sugar-free Jello. It's cheaper if you buy them like this instead of prepackaged. But sometimes I buy them prepackaged for the convenience. Um, so yeah, sugar-free strawberry Jello, really good and one protein per um, serving, so very good macros. So I'm putting it in here, so once it's cold and ready to go, I can just cut it into eight servings, and then each square is a serving. Alright guys, so there it is. All I'm going to do now is put this lid on it, put it in the refrigerator. It says to refrigerate for four hours, then it's ready or when firm. Last time it took more than four hours, so I'm just going to do this early on in the day. It's 10 o'clock, so by night time it's ready. If you used to follow me in the past, I used to do a lot of food prep. And I haven't been doing food prep because I'm more flexible. And I found that sometimes when you meal prep or food prep, it starts to taste kind of eh after day three, depending on what veggies and what things you put in the meal prep thing. But what I've been doing is instead of like meal prepping, like an entire meal in one container, I've been just prepping aspects of what I'm going to eat. Like, so, all right, sorry for all the squeaking, but, um, so I've been prepping meat in advance. So I'll grill up a bunch of chicken breasts or grill up a bunch of steak and that will make everything easier. So then all I have to do is figure out the carb source, the vegetable and so forth. Um, so I'm about to go to the grocery store. I made a list. Making lists are key to staying on track. And then I also got some foods listed here for after the cut is over because guys we are so today's Monday so I only have until Friday I'm gonna try to do my submission video in the early afternoon or afternoon after that the cut is finally over and I can finally eat again so I'm gonna basically have my whatever I've been craving afterwards and I'm not gonna go ham I'm gonna still eat till fullness but not till I'm like dying full where I'm gonna barf but yeah also this morning I weighed in at 129 yesterday was not a workout day it was a total rest day and I needed it I didn't do any strength workouts I didn't do any cardio and my weight was still 129 flat so I feel like tomorrow I might get a new low weigh in hopefully just because usually when I am not working out or doing any cardio or sweating it out the next day usually is a higher weigh in so I'm hoping tomorrow I'll hit the 128s okay so we just got back from the grocery store and I'm about to show you how I've been making my baked recipe potatoes and I'm making a lot so I'm gonna start out with three potatoes I already washed them and then yeah Next thing we need to do is cut up the potatoes. I'll show you the size I cut them in. So I kind of keep like a half an inch thickness. Then I've been liking this shape. i do that with the rest of the potatoes. Guys, we got all the potatoes in here and I'm gonna show you guys what I put as seasoning. Add a teaspoon of garlic powder. Got some rosemary here gives it this interesting flavor so I'm gonna put some of this I just eyeball how much not then we're gonna do some black ground pepper and then some pink salt Himalayan pink salt 
Then I'm just gonna mix it around. Got some cooking spray, we're gonna spray both pans. Then from here, we're just gonna add the potatoes. All right guys, so the oven is set at 420 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna stick this in for 20 minutes, flip them, then another 15 to 20 minutes. Guys, so tonight I'm having some flank steak, which is very lean steak for the cut of meat and for the taste. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut this up, prep it, season it, then just keep it in the refrigerator um, until I'm ready to grill later tonight. Guys, okay, so this is how much fat came off of here. So all I did was take the fat off and cut it into grillable sizes, and then I'm gonna put in this Montreal seasoning. Guys, I put the second layer of steak on, seasoned it, and wrapping it, putting it in the fridge till later when I'm ready to grill. All right, guys, I'm gonna spray it with cooking spray again. And then I'm gonna flip them. Kind of a hassle, but you want them to be cooked evenly. See how it's nice and golden brown on this side? So I flip them all back in the oven for 15 minutes. And then I'm just gonna check for doneness. Guys, I'm about to make this quick one minute oats. I got this concoction, which is half almond milk, half water to save calories. And it still tastes good, so we're gonna bring that to a boil. Then pretty much I'm just following instructions on the oat pack. All right, so it's boiling, we're gonna add the oats. And all you do is mix it for a minute. All right, you guys, so once this is done, which it is, just put the lid on, turn the heat off, and let it sit. The longer it sits, the better it is, because the thicker it'll be. The potatoes are almost done, so it's time to start prepping breakfast. All right, guys, so the potatoes look done. Look at that. So, taking them out. And I already prepped my station, and we're gonna start cooking. All right guys, this is breakfast. I got two slices of center cut bacon, one whole egg, 100 grams of egg whites, 100 grams baked russet potatoes with half a serving of the no sugar added ketchup. So this is part one of my breakfast. Guys, next up I have half a serving of this oatmeal with Splenda, cinnamon, and I can't believe it's not butter spray. Gonna mix this up and eat this. What's up you guys? I'm getting ready to grill, heating the grill up, and I have some garlic that I'm gonna roast and a lot of that flank steak that we meal prepped earlier or prepped earlier. So yeah, I'm gonna show, show you guys the end result. All right guys, we got some vegetable oil. We're gonna go ahead and grease the grill, which is something you wanna do before you grill to help with the meat not sticking. Next, we're gonna put the meat in. I only did one side of seasoning because last time it came out too salty. So we're gonna go this way first. That one's cooked better. Should move this back here. Guys, steaks are done. Garlic is still roasting. All right, guys. So now I'm cutting the flank steak. And with flank steak, you don't want to overcook it. You want it medium or medium rare. All right. So the muscle fibers go this way. You want to cut it at an angle like this. 
It just makes the texture of the meat easier to chew and stuff like that. So, pro tip. So, I'm gonna cut up enough for dinner and then we're gonna show you what I'm eating. Guys, here's my dinner. I'm so hungry. I got six and a half or six ounces cooked of flank steak. Then I got the russet potato that I made earlier today. I just have a whole can of drained green beans. So, this is dinner. Alright guys, you never see me do this, but I am so full, so I'm going to have a 0.4 servings of ISO pure, because a serving for this is two scoops. Put it in three-fourths a cup of almond milk, and that is going to hit my proteins. Yeah, this doesn't taste the best, because it's literally just zero carb. The carbs and protein powder make it taste better. That's also why I put it in almond milk. This cut has been hitting me, guys. It, it's hitting me. I know I probably said this in the last video, but it's... I'm tired. No, I haven't had any refeeds. Because we're literally at a sprint. Um, today's Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I literally have three more days of dieting. And Thursday's probably going to be, hopefully, a high-carb day. And then Friday is when I'm going to be submitting my summer shredding video. But I feel like hopefully, hopefully a new low weigh-in is going to be hitting soon. Probably 128 point something. But yeah, so far if I, if I hit 128 point something, that would be like the lowest weight I've been since, you know, I've gotten sick with my ostomy. But a good weight since I have muscle now. Right, guys, now I got one serving of popcorn that I used my air popper to make. An air popper really is just a glass thing that you put in the microwave and it makes it so you can make popcorn without the use of butter, just the kernels. So I'm gonna have this, I'm editing video. Hopefully I'll get this posted tomorrow morning, which is Tuesday. Um, and yeah, I'm freaking exhausted. The good news is I think today's like one of the top days I've burnt calories on my Apple Watch. So according to the Apple Watch, I burned 737 active calories. So that's in addition to just my resting calories. All right, guys, I got one and a half servings of Halo Top Oatmeal Cookie ice cream. Got 100 grams of strawberries, and this is going to pretty much fill out the rest of my macro. Um, I do have room for two servings of sugar-free jello if needed, and that's only if I'm not fully satisfied. But most likely, I'm probably going to hit this and be done for the night. It's already 10.20, so yeah. This is going to conclude today's video, you guys. I am basically three days out, unless you count Friday. So if, I guess four days out, um, but three more days of solid dieting um, before I do my Friday video submission. And then that's going to be it for this cut, and I'm super excited for it. So... Yeah, you guys, if you like the video, please give it a like. It really does help the channel out. If you want to see my fitness journey, please subscribe to the channel. I had been cutting for the past almost six months, so I have all the episodes of what I've done to lose the weight on my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.